Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. Before you can understand what cloud solutions are, you need to know what we're comparing it to. So in this lecture, I'll cover the traditional IT deployment models of on-premises solutions and co-location or colo services. First up, on-premises solutions. So this is your standard traditional setup where you own your own building as, as a company and all of the equipment is hosted in your building and you've paid for all the equipment and you own it all. So with a traditional on-premises solution, all equipment is located in your building, all equipment is owned by you and by you I mean the company. There are clear lines of demarcation. Everything in your building is your responsibility the connections between your offices are your service provider's responsibility. All of your equipment is CapEx. With CapEx and OpEx, CapEx is capital expenditure, and that's anything that you pay a one-off upfront fee for. OpEx is operational expenditure, and this is anything that you're paying a recurring monthly fee for. So when you're running on the traditional on-premises solution, you buy your equipment up front, so that is a capex cost. New equipment will typically take over a week to deploy. You have to go through the approval process, then you have to order the equipment, you have to wait for it to arrive on your site from whoever you bought it from. You then need to get it to the server room. You need to unbox it. You need to get it racked up. You then need to get it cabled. You need to install the operating system and any patches, and you need to install the applications on there as well. The networking team need to configure the networking configuration. The server team need to do the installation and install the software on there. And if you're using external storage, the storage team will need to configure that. So it's an involved process and typically it's going to take at least a week to deploy a new server or other equipment like your routers, your switches, firewalls, etc. Another thing is you need to consider redundancy. For any mission critical equipment, you're not going to want to have any single points of failure. So you're going to double up on those, which is again going to add to the complexity and also the cost. So that's on-premises, didn't need to talk about that so much because it's very intuitive and it's pretty obvious what's happening there. The next one that you might not be so aware of is colo or co-location facilities. This is a data center location where the owner of the facility rents out space to external customers. The facility owner provides power cooling and physical security for their customers server storage and networking equipment as the customer obviously your staff your users are not going to be sitting in a data center to do their work they'll still be sitting in your normal office the normal office has got network connectivity to the data center and that is where your centralized servers are located Independent colo providers such as Equinix is probably the best known one. They offer customers multiple network connectivity options through a choice of network service providers. So if you were in the US, for example, maybe AT&T and Verizon and a few other ones are connected in there. And when you put your equipment in the colo facility, you can take your choice of network providers. The network service providers will also typically peer with each other in colo facilities. That's how internet connectivity is built. So the characteristics of a colo solution. The colo provider owns the data center facility and is responsible for providing highly available power, cooling, and physical security according to the terms of a service level agreement with you, the customer. 
you own your own server, storage, and networking equipment, which is located inside the Colo facility. So they're providing the building infrastructure, but the actual IT equipment is provided and owned by you. The connections between your offices and the Colo are your network service provider's responsibility. So with this, it shares a lot of the characteristics of an on-premises solution. Your equipment within the Colo facility is owned by you. And again, it's paid for as an upfront CapEx cost. The monthly Colo hosting fees are a monthly recurring fee. So that's an OPEX cost. New equipment will typically take over a week to deploy because again, it's your own equipment and you're configuring it all yourself. You have to order it, do all the configuration, just like with on-premises, it's going to take over a week. Equipment requires technology refreshes. This was the same with on-premises as well, meaning that hardware is going to get out of date and then you're going to want to replace it with new technology, which again is going to be another CapEx cost. You need to consider redundancy for the hardware that you own, the same as in an on-premise solution. You're not going to want to have any single points of failure. Okay, so that was on-premises and Colo. And a Colo facility is not a cloud solution. You'll see why and you'll see what a cloud solution is as we go through the rest of this section. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.